a production of theturtleroom.com. Education, conservation, survival. Okay, we're here in the workshop, opening up a new package that just came in the mail, containing a pair of Actinemis marmorata, or Pacific Pond Turtles. Here's a heat pack, packed on top. It's a little cool outside to say the least. Even though these are cold tolerant species, they should, um, during this time of year, always be sent with a heat pack. And looks good so far. And here are our two turtles, wrapped up in some gym socks, which is um, completely appropriate. They're easy to breathe through, and um, they keep the turtles nice and snug and secure so that they're not moving around during shipping and injuring themselves. So this is the female. She has just come out of the packaging. She looks absolutely beautiful, bright-eyed and energetic right out of the packaging, which is exactly how you want to see him. She's a nice, big, heavy girl. You can tell that this is a female as the tail is much smaller than what you'll see in a moment on the male. Now this is the male. As you can see, it looks like he's got some old raw and um, some dings, cuts and scrapes on his shell, which is really all perfectly fine um, at this point. Everything looks to be healed. Um, obviously, you know, these old marks won't stop him from doing his main uh, job, which is breeding and hopefully creating more um, Pacific Pond Turtles to um, help this species, which is definitely in the decline. Um, you can see right now, he's got a big old tail, which is obviously the main the main um, factor in determining um, the sex of the species uh, much bigger than that that we just saw in the female he is a handsome boy and now the two of them will be brought over to their new home their new home as I mentioned already is a medium waterland um, obviously water tub which holds approximately 60 water, 60 gallons of water um, in the wet section there. There's a built-in ramp which leads up to a land section for egg laying. We've got plenty of driftwood. Um, at this point fake plants. We'll try some live plants soon. And we have a pump that pumps up into a five gallon bucket which filters the water. This substrate is a mixture of peat moss and play sand, and live plants help to provide a sense of security. Actinemies have a reputation as being shy or skittish turtles, especially as juveniles. This pair, however, came out of the box ready to explore. In this enclosure, plastic zip ties have been used to stabilize furniture like driftwood and other objects to avoid injury to the animals. This female is definitely of breeding size and age. She has never laid before, but we are hoping to change that trend soon. This process takes time, of course, as female actinemies do not always lay eggs every year. They do lay multiple clutches in a single season, but this is not always the case. Chelonian keepers must learn to be patient, which makes any success much more exciting. This is our small female that we already have. The pair will be joining her now to make a trio. All three of these turtles, which are under the care of the turtle room, come from Fresno locale. Like their cousins of the genus Emmys, the geographic origin of Actinemmy should be researched before breeding is attempted. Muddying the gene pool will not help much to conserve such species. Please visit theturtleroom.com for more information on actinemies and other exciting Chelonian species.